What's up guys, Omar here, back at it again with another unbox and assembly video. Today we're gonna be putting together and show you guys how to assemble the True Grit Power Rack. Let's get it. Bam, bam, bam. All right guys, now that we've got our parts out of the box and unpackaged, make sure you guys go over your manual to make sure that all the equipment that is in the instructions are supplied. So step number one, we're going to assemble our base and then we're gonna assemble the uprights before we mount anything else. Check it out. So getting these uprights bolted in, you're more than likely gonna want a hand to hold it upright while you get the holes aligned on your upright. Make sure that the True Grit logos are facing the outside of the rack, that way you're aligned with the correct holes. Once you get your holes lined up, you're gonna take your bolts from your tools and assembly setup and hand tighten them first. Once you guys send your bolts through, make sure you got the backside plate on as well. And then from there, we'll go ahead and hand tighten these nuts here. And again, send that washer on there first before putting the nut on. That way, everything stays nice and tight. All right, we got a one inch wrench that we're gonna put on the back end and we've got our socket here that we're gonna to use to tighten this. After we've gotten as tight as we can get it with our hands. So go ahead and make sure it's snug, but not completely tighten all the way. You'll go back through once you've assembled everything and just make sure it's all tight at the same time. Assembling the two uprights in the rear, you're definitely gonna want a hand to keep this thing stable and preventing it from falling over. Once we've got these two uprights mounted, I'm gonna go ahead and take our rear cross member and attach that so our unit is completely stable. All right guys, so you're gonna want a hand holding this upright on the cross member. I would personally recommend doing all your bolts from the outside going in. It'll make for an easier assembly and aesthetically look better. Boom, important to get these hand tightened first so that you prevent any of these bolts from stripping when you're trying to tighten them with your tools. Cool, now that we've got those on, Again, we'll hold our wrench to one side and our socket to the outside to tighten. Righty tighty. We've got our uprights bolted in. We've got our top upright cross member tightened up. Now our rack is pretty stable here. We're gonna go ahead and mount the front uprights. Again, you'll need a hand to hold those uprights in place as you guys begin to bolt those down. So the same process that we did with the rear upright racks, we're going to do with the front. Again, using a helping hand to keep these stable, bolt in your four bolts to the bottom of each base, and then we're gonna rock and roll with the top mounts on the sides, and then we'll finally get to our pull-up rack on the front end before finishing off with our low safety bars and our squat hooks for our Jacobs. Check it out. All right, guys, we've got our supports all bolted in and tightened up. Now it's time to get to our finishing pieces. We've got a little pull-up rack right here. We're gonna mount this bad boy to the front like so, and then we've got our safety bars that we will hook laterally on the sides to, pre to prevent you from failing a squat or failing lifts. So, mounting your pull-up bar is a personal preference as far as the height goes. I recommend mounting it high enough to where you have to jump at least two inches off the ground to grab, that way you're free of hitting your feet on the floor when performing pull-ups. All right guys, we've got our pull-up bar mounted to the, to the top. We've got one of our safety bars mounted to the side. We're gonna finish up mounting our second safety bar. You want your safety bars mounted at a height to where if you're performing a squat and you're unable to get out of that position, you can just drop your bar to your safety racks and get on out of there. So we're getting towards the tail end of putting our power rack together. These safety bars just screw on in with these hand tight screws here. No need for tools on these. But we'll definitely recommend you guys using your ratchet set for the rest of the bolts, making sure everything's tight before you start performing some exercises. All right guys, J-Cups, final piece of the puzzle. Go ahead and mount these bad boys at shoulder height, making sure it goes through nice and smooth to the side. Bada bing, bada boom. I really like these J-Cups. They're nice and durable, nice and sturdy. They're not gonna bend or break on you. Once you've got these J-Cups mounted, you can go ahead and grab your barbell. You can go ahead and get some pull-ups in and you're ready to rock and roll. Let's get it.